Welcome back, aliens. In the earlier video, we have talked about set, right? So this is a data structure which was introduced in ES6. And with that, we got one more, which is map. Now map looks similar to object, uh, but we'll discuss the difference between map and object later. As of now, let's see what map is. See, when it comes to arrays, we can have a collection of values, right? And every value will have an index, which is a number. Then we have a set, we do, which we don't have the index values, but it can have a unique values. Now map says you can have values, but every value need to have a key, which will not be a number, which can be a number, but we don't need to have a number. You can have a string, you can have an object, you can have anything else which you want. So it's basically a key and a value pair. That's how generally you store data in database. That's how you store data in any format nowadays. It's a key and a value pair. So map becomes a very powerful tool of storing data and to work with data basically. So how do we create a map? Now, first of all, map is a class. So we have to use, so I have to say, let's say map itself. We can also say phone book, but let's say map. So let uh, map is equal to new map. That's how we create a map here. Now, how do we add a value in a map? So basically, as I mentioned, map will have a key and a value. So we can say map dot. Uh, how do we set values or add values with the help of set method? So we can say set. And we'll discuss why is set, why not add. Okay, we'll discuss that. So we got map.set and then we can have a key and a value. Now this key value can be anything. The key can be a number and value can be a string or key can be a string, value can be a number and vice versa. And then you know, both can have, both can be numbers, good. both can be string, both can be objects, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can have a set. Let's time, this time let's go with names. So I will say this is uh, the set of people with their favorite technology or the skill set they, they have now. Uh, so I will start with Naveen. So let's say Naveen is the first uh, person and the skill set is, is let's say Java. And then we got one more which is uh, it's set. I will say Kiran and the Kiran favorite technology is let's say Android and map.set. The next name is let's say Chirag and the favorite technology for Chirag is machine learning. And as you can see, we got three technologies here, right? And then this is your map where you have a key and a value pair. Now what you will do with this key and a value pair? We can do multiple things. First, I, let me get all the keys here. So how do we get all the keys? Let's me just, let me just print all the keys. So I can say, hey map, using this method of keys, I can fetch all the keys. Now what is key here? Uh, Naveen, Kiran, Chirag are the keys. And you got it. Can you see that? We got uh, Naveen, Kiran, Chirag. Uh, they are the keys here, right? Okay, this is working. Okay, uh, so we can get the keys. What else we can get here? We can also get, uh, we can also check if a particular key is available in this map. And for that, we can use a map dot. Any guess what the method name is? That's right, has. We have seen that before, right? So we can say has. Uh, we can check, do we have Chirag here? And let's try. And you can see it says true. That means Chirag is there. So we can use has. We can get everything. In fact, what if you want to get the value? So in that case, you can say get. So you can say map.get, you can pass Chirag, which is a key. It will give you a particular element. You can see we got machine learning ML. Okay, that works. What else we can do here? What if I want to print all the values? Okay, not just a particular key and a particular value, all the values. In this case, we can use a loop. And then we know we can use uh, for off loop or we can use for each. We have discussed that before. So here, let me just use a for off loop. So I will say for let. Now the problem is we don't have one value, right? We have two things. We have a key and a value. So I want to get key and value both. So for that, I can say k comma v. Of course, you can go with any variable names. You can say key value itself or you can say kv. That works. So we can say kv of map. And now let me just print the values. How do we do that? It's very simple. You can say log. And here, let me print the value of k first and then let me print the value of and then we can give a space in between or maybe a colon and I can say V. That's it. We are just printing the map and you can see we got all the values. We got Naveen, Java, Kiran, Android, Chirag, ML. So that's how you can assign the values. That's how you can print the values. Now my question is what will happen if you try to do one more set here and uh, let's have, let me just repeat Kiran there and let's say the current technology, or maybe let me just repeat Naveen because for Naveen technology changed from Java to blockchain. Okay, so here we got map.set Naveen blockchain. Here, now you tell me what will happen. If I run this code, will I get four values or will I get three values? If you get three values, then Naveen will have what? Java blockchain. So let me know your answers in the comment section and let's write out. And if you can observe, the new value for Naveen is blockchain. 
Java has been replaced. And that's why we are using set here, not add. We are not adding a new value. We are updating the value if it exists. And that's why it says set. Uh, if you're coming from Java background, we use put. We don't say add, but in JavaScript, we say set. So put set, almost same. We are not using add method. Okay, uh, this works. Can I use for each loop? Let's try. So in for each, if I say map dot for each, uh, what do you think? How many parameters you have to pass? So basically you have to pass two values, a key and a value, right? So we'll say two values, we'll say key and a value again, the same thing. And we can give a bracket open and here, let me print the value. Let me print the value key first with the same syntax, okay? Uh, now will this work? See, logically it should, but the problem is if you remember the uh, syntax when we have uh, written array for each array when we are passing three values, remember the sequence? The sequence was value, then index number. In the same way here, it should be value first and then the index value. This is the only tricky point because in for each you pass the value first, then the index value and then the set if you want to pass. Here we are just passing the key and the value. So first you have to pass the value, then the key. And I hope this will work. And that worked, can you see that? So that's how we can work with map. So map is basically a collection of a key and a values, key value pair, okay? Now, the similar thing is available in object as well, right? If you remember object properties, they are key and a value pair. The difference is when you work with normal entities, if, you, if I want to represent a particular object, one object, example, let's say this remote. So this remote is one object, right? So these properties will be the color, the length, the brand, the controls, so brand, LG, uh, color, white. So we can specify all these properties. But whenever you have a collection of values, let's say names and technologies, or maybe a brand and uh, versions. So in that case, we can use a map to maintain the map. So again, this, this depends upon the requirements which you want to use, okay? Both provides key value, but if you have a collection, map makes much more sense. So yeah, that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for the, for the videos. Bye-bye.